So if you guys have been following the channel, you know that I did a concrete bag wall over there and loading concrete in my old wheelbarrow just destroyed it. So I needed something new, something for mulch, something to wheel around, picking up sticks and stuff and pushing the kids around. But I just got back from Home Depot with a gorilla cart and I already know I'm gonna love this thing. It's, I'm putting it together right now. I'll let you guys know how easy it is to put together when I'm done. I use two different tools. I have my drill with a bit on there and I have a pliers and basically you can do everything assembly wise with these two things. These wheels are great. They are solid plastic. I don't know if this is rubber or not, but I always had a problem with my old wheelbarrow. The tires were always going flat. I put that green stuff in there. I was always pumping them up. These are never gonna go flat. There's not even a place to put air in here, so. So really the only thing we're working with here is about 20 of these nuts and bolts that are uh, really easy to put on. I did have to bring my ratchet out for this one part right here, this is a little tight. So that's it. That took me about 15 minutes to do this whole assembly here. So if you're discouraged because you see that it came in a box and a bucket and you have to put a little bit together, it really is very straightforward and super easy to assemble. So if you guys need a wheelbarrow, Home Depot, there's, they're not sponsoring this. This is my own money that I just went and bought this thing. So if you guys need a wheelbarrow, consider this. It's the Gorilla Cart. It's not with the other wheelbarrows in Home Depot. It's gonna be on the aisle rack and you're gonna see it's in two pieces. It's gonna be in a box with all the wheels and metal and nuts and bolts. And then there's gonna be a bin next to it. So there's two pieces that you're picking up for 150 bucks. Extremely pleased so far. Anything changes, I'll let you know. So it is much lower to the ground than a normal wheelbarrow. So if you're really tall, this might not be the one for you. Yeah, I'm about 5'11", but you do have to reach down and grab it and pull it up. So it's not, a normal wheelbarrow is probably up here. So it's about six inches lower, maybe even 10 inches lower than an actual wheelbarrow handle. But that is not factoring in right now. I, I like it. The handles right here, if you're, uh, I don't know, I don't know what the thought was with this. It's it's cool. Uh, if you're in a major windstorm, I guess it's not gonna blow out of your hands. You can wrap them in here. I don't know, that's ridiculous. The handles are a little excessive, but it's still cool. If you guys have a fireplace and you need some kind of car to haul wood back and forth from a wood pile to your back porch, this is perfect. It's small, lightweight. It'll fit in the corner of your shed or your garage very easy. This will probably fit about 10 bags of potting soil in here. If you need to wheel it around your property, fill up flower beds, this is gonna be great. So just as I thought, I love it. I have no regrets here. All right, I may have made a mistake. Let me catch my breath and I'll explain why. Right, so I figured out why there's actual loop handles instead of just bar handles. You're gonna spend more time pulling this thing than you are pushing it the tires aren't inflated if the ground's wet or not completely solid at all they're just gonna sink the wheels are just gonna sink into the ground it rained last night it's not super wet out here but I'm trying to push the wheelbarrow from the front of the house to the back of the house which is about 200 yards and I am whooped if you're ever wondering if a solid wheel is better than an inflatable wheel the inflatable wheel is much easier on your back yeah I don't know I don't know if this was the best purchase. All right, I'm not saying I hate it, but let me 
give you a really good comparison right now. Imagine two different vehicles on a beach with sand. One, a horse and buggy, Amish guy driving a horse and buggy over the beach, or one of those beach cruisers with the big inflatable air tires. Obviously the inflatable tires work way better. On a solid ground, this probably works great. Not so much on soft ground, so keep that in mind. All right, I'm going back and forth here. The handle's kind of cool for this thing because instead of pushing it, I can pull it. One-handed. I got about 100 pounds of sand and dirt in here right now. I don't know, going back and forth. I was reading some of the comments on Home Depot's website and one of the things that people had an issue with were they think that this is advertised wrong. They says seven cubic feet and people are saying it's only six. So best way I can show you is by opening three bags of mulch and filling this thing up. Because these bags of mulch are two cubic feet, in theory, I should be able to put three and a half in here with no problems if this really is seven cubic feet. So we'll see. bags in here right now. And you can see it's pretty full. See what six cubic feet looks like. You can see what six cubic feet of mulch does. That's heaping over the sides. So in theory, I would say this is probably a four and a half, five cubic feet long cart, but no way, no way is it seven. Just to recap here, this is a really cool little long cart. I emphasize little because although they advertise it as a seven cubic foot bucket, it's really only about four and a half, five tops. It's definitely built lower to the ground than most wheelbarrows. So for anyone out there with a bad back or all you BFGs, maybe not the best option. And finally, if your property is super soft or you have a sandy yard, you might want to consider a wheelbarrow with inflatable tires. These solid plastic tires do not make life easy on you by any means. I'm not sure it was a perfect fit for what I needed, but it might be exactly what you're looking for. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, consider following our channel because Lauren and I love bringing you guys DIY solutions and budget-friendly options. Drop a comment below if we got our facts wrong or we missed something because we know that's definitely a possibility. Don't forget to hit that like button. It all helps us out. Thanks for watching.